Do you see this chaotic mess right here? This is exactly why I don't take my family into Philadelphia. These poor little bastards barely got a PS5 to their name. And ever since those masks were introduced back in 2020, crime is spiked, especially in Philadelphia. Where are the parents saying, hey, don't wear that shit outside. Like you look like a fucking hoodlum. In my time, it was sagging the pants. That was the shit during my time, sagging the pants. But now you got this. Look, look at him. And look, look, look at this bloke over here. Like, what is what is this? And you wonder why you see so many stores in the city say, you got to take it off before you come into my store. They feel like this is cool. Like, were we like that when we were kids? We were like, yeah, we sag on the pants. We gangster. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? You've been seeing a, a big outbreak of crime over the last couple of days in Philadelphia. Welcome to the show. This is T-Street Controversy. Please subscribe. Take your time out. Like the video. All of them kids. All of them kids. We got a problem where in uh, Philadelphia, from age, I'm going to say nine years old to about 16 years old, they're just all in the streets. In downtown Center City, Philadelphia, Center City, Philadelphia this was unheard of back in the 90s and the 2000s, early 2000s. To where they have an age limit on our mall downstairs. It used to be called the gallery, but it's called the um, the fashion district now. So before it was a place that kids would hang out, go to the FYE, you know, the music store, hang out in the food court. Yeah, there'd be fights every now and then, but not the level of violence that it is down there now. I would not dare take my family or my girl, you know, on no date night in South Street, a popular nightlife tourist destination. Not only that, you might get robbed. Public transportation is a mess. And I think, personally, I think it goes back to, like, the older generations. You know, the block captains, the elderly, the church folk. Those were the ones that was raised in the grandkids, like me. I was raised by my grandparents. Hardworking, retired when they were 65. You know, one from the down south, go to church, know how to make pig feet, greens, cooked every Sunday. My father had all, my grandfather had all the tools and gadgets and shit, popular mechanics, magazine. You see what I'm saying? But now you have these 36-year-old grandmoms. You know, who are still a part of that, like, generation. They on the Instagrams and the OnlyFans. And we're in a generation where our kids... Or not my kids, you know, they like people are treating their kids like they're friends. I wish my kid would come in or try to leave the house with that shit on. And if I caught him, see, I'm the type of parent, let me tell you, I'm going to listen until you, I'm going to give you to you 16. But until that, I'm going through all your shit. Like, you're not going to be having no phone and me not be able to like, you know, see what them, see what you're doing. That's the problem now. That's one of the problems now. Like kids, they don't get disciplined. And I'm not saying you got to, you know, like smack a kid around. I'm not saying that. But some of these motherfuckers, you do. And then they go to jail. They be crying. You'd be surprised. Here, let's go take a gander at the Philadelphia Police YouTube channel. It's horrific. Like straight up horrific. You know, I check it out like daily. Like it's horrific. Look at this. Five days ago. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is smack dab under City Hall, Jack. Under City Hall. Downtown Philadelphia. Under William Penn himself. Kids out there, you know. Criminal, you know, seeking an independent public didn't find the visual scene in the following still photos of rob robbery. Look, they just smack dab on there. And they don't be caring. You know, they don't be caring. And it's an epidemic that it's not talked about enough. It's joked about. 
And then the inside, the inside narrative is, oh, what well, when they see the black kids doing something, I wonder where the father is. Look at this. Look at this. And if you want to really say it, it's a pandemic because all the fathers, they're killing each other off. This ain't going to end no time soon. And I used to catch this. This is this is a train station. It's at 4 p.m. Where it's the hub of the city, the middle of the city where trains connect. Lawyers, politicians, you know, celebrities, everybody of the of of, of you know, of Philadelphia that knows of Philadelphia, you, you take this, this subway. Wild, wild, wild times. But this channel is outrageous. You know, and then when you go to, to see, you know, the actual homicide rate, here, we'll go look at it, because I, I have it on, look, I have it on bookmark. Look at the yearly rates, right? 2018, 353. 2019, 353. 499 2020 now there's heavy speculation that they've been cooking the books big time because they didn't want to hit that uh 500 number 562 last year 516 and the only reason why some are speculating that the deaths are down because the new crop of killers ain't grow up yet and the old one's been killing each other off so it's like a little bit of a grace period And they don't be and they don't care. And they and they rap about it in their songs telling on themselves. And then we in the city, but we got a soft D.A. Who's letting the, who keep letting them out. Tough, tough, tough times. But this right here, this is on Reddit, by the way. I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is on Reddit. And you can't tell me there's not, you know, they're young. No 18 year olds. These are young Men, no telling how many of them are going to be gone within the next five years. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and teach your controversy.